Hello, this is Jack Carmel. We're looking at my 10 by 10 Shelter Logic hot house from Northern Tool. This is a sentinel that goes around the tent three times a minute, followed by a dog that makes sure that he does what he is paid for. Later we look at the device. This is early May. All the plants have just been transferred in and the red netting is put there so that later when the tomatoes become bigger I would be able to adhere it to them and hold them straight up. The yellow little plastic that you see is to prevent the chafing from the top of the tent on the skeleton. This is the device that holds the sentinel. Small cucumbers. I don't do well with cucumbers. Don't know why. Got to read about it. I'm so proud to have some flowers already. And even a little tomato is popping up. This is my pollination device, which is a battery-operated toothbrush. And sometimes I'm on the left doing the brush, and a bee comes in to do the left. This is moi. I'm going to take out the device so that I can water the plants. Look at those movements. This is the dog, the silhouette of the dog, approximately four inches. This is the contraption. The other side is holding the man. It's worked so far really well. The inside is covered with stone that was left over from my steps. And under the stone, you will see a fencing of metal that prevents the vermin from sharing my tomatoes. You can imagine, I'm pretty jealous about my tomatoes. This is a little bit later. Uh, obviously, everything has grown some, and we could see some uh, big tomatoes uh, all over the place. Again, the protective of the foam around the corners. The electrical department. There are tomatoes everywhere. I would say maybe 200 tomatoes hanging out there. Some of them are small tomatoes, like a poppin. These are my peppers. They are refusing to become yellow or red so far. And if I have no patience, I eat them green. They are not as good. I've been in tomatoes since July 10th. And uh, they are predict, uh, producing sorry, something like um, 10 tomatoes a day, which is just enough for me. This is early in the morning, below 60 degrees. Some of the tomatoes are relatively large. I'm going to put my hand next to one so we have an idea. Those planters I made myself. Cost me a little bit less that way. Here is my hand next to the tomato. Now we're going to visit the cream tomato, uh, cream after Crimea, and uh, I mean, here is a little cuke doing its best to become a big cuke. This is the crime, crime tomato hiding, and with good reason, after what Russia has done to the Crimea. I would be ashamed too. 
This is my attempt at cucumbers. Try to find one. Ah. Here is a little cucumber about one inch by a quarter. It has a future. This is my operating table and my sanitary tools. Some of the big tomatoes. Tons of flowers still. And every afternoon I get a little bee that comes down here and fertilizes my tomatoes. These are sunburst tomatoes. I counted yesterday 11 on one branch. Maybe you will see it. Here it is. One branch. These are popping. They are delicious. No salt, no pepper, nothing is required. This fence keeps the bigger animals from sharing my tomatoes. And you saw a blue button comes out of my windsurfing sail to hold the wind in check. I'll show you a little the area where I live. This is the Wasatch. It is very pretty in a summer and in a winter. I have a non-impeded view. My wife took to growing some eggplants. These are Lilliput Japanese eggplants. And I took to them so much that I'm going to grow some myself next year. The flowers are one and a half inch and vivid purple. Beautiful. This is to show you a quarter vis-a-vis -a, -vis a tomato. This tomato is the size of a fist. I get about two or three of those a day. At this time, coming to an end, and I thank you for sharing time with me. Bye.